Hey Survivors, Black here from Castle Black Gaming, and so today is the day we finally get to try out Ark Survival Ascended. And I've seen quite a few gamers who are trying Ark for the first time, and so I thought I would offer up some quick beginner tips for those players. Now, if you're not familiar with my style of guides, I try to run down the tips as fast as I can so you can get back into the game that you love. And I also have timestamps down below, so let's go ahead and get to this guide and stop the BS. First off, with picking your first initial starting zone on the island map, I like South 1 or South 2. These areas are deemed safe-ish and will allow you to get the hang of things before you take on more aggressive species and or your base gets attacked. Also, to help you have a wider field of vision, if you play in third person like I do, then go into your settings, then the camera, and then camera FOV is the setting. I turn mine up to 100 so I can see more around me, so hopefully those raptors don't sneak up on me and give me a jump scare. Now next up, when it comes to gathering, you will need thatch, so punch some trees when you first get on the island. You will need stone, so run around the shoreline pushing E, assuming nothing is equipped in your hand. You will be picking up berries, fiber, and stone all with your hand using E. Now once you have enough supplies, craft your pick so you can gather more thatch and wood from trees and flint from the bigger boulders. Then make yourself a hatchet. Now a campfire is also a must, so make that as well once you unlock it. Now when the campfire is lit, pushing F will allow you to open the inventory without putting the fire out. Now speaking of unlocking things, my advice for a solo player stats is to focus on your fortitude to help you with food and temperature affecting you as much, and then also go ahead and apply some points into weight. I then usually go with stamina after that and will start dipping into health only about after level 20 or so. I like trying to get my fortitude and weight up first just to help survive the elements and be able to carry more until I get a decent pack animal. Stamina will also help you gather longer and run for longer distances if you're being chased, which you definitely will be. Now, also with unlocking things in your engrams or the crafting tree, I usually skip over the cloth set of gear until I reach level 10 so I can unlock the bow and arrow. Now, I will go for the thatch foundations at the bare minimum, sometimes the walls and other things as well, and definitely the storage box when they open up at level 4. Now, thatch foundations can help you gain levels, so crafting a few of those are definitely going to help you get going. If you're solo, it's okay to hold off on the cloth set until after 10 to make sure you have enough points to grab that bow and arrow. Now, if you are playing with another, have one of your friends go ahead and learn the cloth set and they can make you both gear. The bolo is also good as it can help you get some early level tames. Now, the bed at level 7 is a must. Now, you can unlock the sleeping bag, but I don't usually make it since it's a one-time use and I just wait for the bed since you should have it shortly after unlocking the sleeping bag anyway. You make the one that is permanent versus the temporary one just to save on resources. The sleeping bag is a little bit better for exploring anyway, and that's kind of its main use, but I've always just made beds. Anyway, now moving on. Gathering enough hides to make the bed will be easy with dodos that you can kill along the beach. Be careful going further up into the hills though, as that's where the fun begins and you quickly become the hunted. The most dangerous things you're going to run into on the south beaches are usually dilos, which will spit venom in your eyes, and then of course there's little compies which attack in groups. You should be able to kill both of these types of dinos with just your basic stone spear. Now they are going to give you decent meat and hide, so definitely kill everything that you see, even the dodos. Making a little foundational starter base in the bed should give you enough levels to get you to level 10, and now you're ready to progress further into doing things like taming and finding better resources such as metal. Now I will go into to these more in the next guide so do stay tuned if you want more and please like and subscribe and fire away any questions you have and I'll be sure to answer them down below and thank you for watching told you it'd be fast